Taking a look at the front of the box, we can see that it's very simple, really. It's got this black box with sort of glossy lettering. So we've got a big R here for Revo Drive, and it tells us that it's the OCZ Revo Drive X2. It's a bootable PCI Express solid state drive. Some of the main features are listed on the front as well. Award winning design, because this is the X2, it's taken over from the original Revo Drive, so it has got that award winning design. PCI Express X4, which means that you can use this card with a PCI Express X4 or above. Uh, slot on your motherboard. It's Sandforce driven which we all know on SSD Sandforce is the way to go in terms of a controller and it has internal RAID 0. Now this drive has actually got other facilities for various different RAID configurations but it comes pre-supplied on RAID 0. Turning the box around we can see on the back it gives the usual bump a little bit of information about the Revo drive and basically how it's built off the award winning Revo drive. This is the X2, it's just basically a Revo drive with better performance. We can see that it's a bootable OCZ Revo drive X2 PCIe SSD, which provides a faster, more responsive PC experience compared to mechanical hard drives. Now, that is true, but there is also another aspect to it. Yes, it's quicker than mechanical hard drives, but it's also quicker than conventional SSDs as well. So there's a nice little picture up here, and then you'll find there's a sticker over here. Now, depending on what model you get, if you've got tons and tons of money feel free to send some my way and i'll buy a 960 gig version of this but for now this one's a 240 gig and it just talks through some of the main performance features so if we bring this in closer we can see that it has a read speed of up to 740 megabytes a second and a write speed of up to 720 megabytes a second sustained write up to 600 megabytes a second and it talks through a couple of the other main features there's a little barcode sticker here as well with the part number and serial number which is always handy in case of tech support um, and RMA issues that kind of thing it's there you don't have to take the card out of your machine and so forth so let's open this up OCZ logo along here and opening this up reveals another box with all of the same information the features PCI Express solid state drive and this just slides open now on this side we can see there's protective foam and taking that off reveals the contents so we have the patented OCZ sticker my SSD is faster than your HDD very novel little item there we also get a installation and quick start guide for the Revo drive now it is quick start there is not a lot to it really but not a mass amount needed. There is a few things that uh, if you're a novice user you will need to read through this. Uh, I admit this was our first time with a Revo drive and a product like this so we had a quick read of here just to make sure we was doing everything right and it just talks through the installation setting up the Revo drive as your boot device installing windows on your Revo drive formatting all about the warranty because this does come with a three-year warranty and any limitations to the warranty. Now moment of truth the anti-static bag featuring the Revo drive so this is a review sample so it wasn't really sealed it's lost its stickiness but your one will come fully sealed so taking the Revo drive out we can see this is the Revo drive X2 240 gig model so first glimpse of it we can see it's not exactly huge putting my hand up against it it's not large it does look a bit like a sound card uh, a lot of people um, I know on the internet have sort of resembled it to a sound card um, and they're not far wrong it's not like it looks like a graphics card there's no sort of fan or heatsink on there but it does look so even the color scheme reminds me of an Audigy. Um we can see some of the things on there there's some LEDs up here now if we zoom in closer to that we can see that it basically gives you activity LEDs for the board at the back and down this side we can see there's some um, more LEDs for this board because it is an X2 card literally it has two PCBs we've got the one at the back which is the main board and then sort of child uh, board at the front and we can see that there's drive zero and a Sandforce controller chip which controls this bank of memory flash chips here and then we have drive one which controls the flash chips which are you can see on the underneath of that card and if we were to take this apart we'd see that there'd be another Sandforce chip underneath this one for drive 2 and then another one under this one for drive 3 which controls the memory chips on here and the memory chips here 
We can see the interface is PCI Express four times, but it can be used in sort of bigger slots, so X16, X8, that kind of thing. Here's your RAID controller chip just here with the mighty R logo on it for the Revo drive and uh, OCZ logo with the PCB number. Turn it around, we have the sticker with the part number and serial number again and we can see where the boards actually sort of bolt together from this side because as I said there are two boards. So we can see that there's plenty of memory chips on here. This is the 240 gig version and uh, it comes pre-configured in RAID 0. There are options to uh, choose a different RAID configuration in the uh, in the settings sort of just after the post and the BIOS screen you can change the configuration but it does come pre-supplied and bootable straight in RAID 0. So there's some more screw points here and if we look down here you can see there's the connector. Now this connector connects this top board to the main PCB. Expansion card wise it does just take one single expansion slot there's nothing on there, it's completely plain there's nothing else needed. Being PCI Express it has got a, a connector here which is to power it and also to travel data across it which means that there's no need for any serial ATA cables, any IDE connectors no sort of connectors on here to indicate uh, that you need to plug anything in. It's literally slot this into your machine and uh, boot straight away. Obviously you want to go into your BIOS and make sure that it's set as the right boot device and the installation instructions do talk through that but it's just a matter of slot that in, go into your BIOS and change it so that it's uh, in the right boot configuration whether you're using this as your main boot device and then uh, you can install your windows onto there and, and off you go. We will be having a look at uh, exactly how the performance of this in Windows sort of acts. We'll show you a couple of benchmarks as well as uh, showing you the sort of Windows 7 startup times as well. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just show you some benchmarks. We've got ASSSD, uh, Bench32, which is Atto, and Crystal Disk Mark. But uh, what I'm actually going to do first is show you how quickly um, this sort of, you know, reboots um, because it is slightly different to an SSD or a mechanical hard drive and there are certain differences in regards to performance and speed in sort of real time which is what people really care about. It's all well and good having great numbers in benchmarks but it is all about sort of you know how quickly your computer reacts and how responsive it is. So um, you will find we are using a Gigabyte X58 USB 3 motherboard which tends, Gigabyte boards tend to have a slightly longer post than other motherboards on the market. Due to that people think well you know this is slow I've bought all this you know fan dabby dozy hardware and it's not making any difference but it's nothing to do with your hard drive um, or your SSD you could have a mechanical old hard drive or one of these Revo drives and it won't make any difference in the post um, it's purely from sort of when Windows actually starts to actually going into Windows and sort of seeing how responsive it is from there so if we just go start and restart we can see ever so quickly it does uh, shut down it will then continue to turn itself back on and we can see straight away the uh, post comes up and you can sort of see how long it does take. Not massively long but still quite long. Straight away the OCZ Revo Drive information comes up and then you use your GUMPF and then straight away with starting Windows and you can see straight away it's, it's fairly quick. On a mechanical hard drive you'd still sort of be seeing just a blank screen and straight in and then if we just sort of open up uh, Firefox we can see that opens straight away we can have AS, ASSSD uh, Bench32 Crystal Disk Mark Recycle Bin, it all opens up very very quickly so straight away it's really really responsive as you can see it's not a matter of uh, I mean if you're using a mechanical hard drive right now or even some SSDs yeah you're in Windows but you have to just wait that extra 10, 15, maybe even half a minute um, before you can actually just you know open up all these various different applications whereas I can open them all up and they're ever so responsive. So moving on to the actual um, testing now we can see that we have ASSSD if we were to open this up it is in German uh, I haven't included the language file so it's all in German luckily I can read German. So um, yeah this is pretty much ASSSD very very simple we're going to do 
a sequential test and we're not going to bother with the other ones at the moment because it mainly is a sort of sequential and otherwise I could be here quite some time doing these benchmarks and no one wants to watch an hour long video. So uh, C drive is our, our SCSI disk, disk device, it does sort of see it on some interfaces of SCSI or SCSI. So if we were to start that we can see the speeds that we're getting 336 megasecond and read speed of 649.17 megasecond. Now some of you may be thinking that doesn't sound like a lot. Well it is compared to a, a standard SSD. If you look on eTechnics.com you can see we reviewed the Vertex 2 from OCZ and a couple of Kingston drives. And you can sort of see how that does compare with regards to the read and write speeds. But um, you will find that we are actually using this drive as our, our Windows boot device as well. So a little bit of performance is lost there. But um, the tests that we've actually done in our benchmark section on, on the written review, um, you'll actually see the full results that we got when we was using this drive as, as a secondary device instead of a, a primary. So some good results there, 649.17 and 336.02. Obviously there's various different burst speeds that's really going to push it to, to the limit, but burst speeds aren't really true um, to what they are. It's mainly about the sort of average that you need to know. So if we open up Atto, I'm going to run it on the C drive. Uh, Q depth, we're only going to do four. I mean, we could up that to sort of say 10, but to be honest, all our other tests that we've ever done have been at four. So to keep things fair and concise, we're going to do that. So if we start that, once again, this will give us read and write speeds of the Revo drive. Um, the main one that we look at when we do our reviews is the 1024. So, um, as the uh, the test progresses, we'll be able to see exactly sort of you know how how that fares. So straight away, we're getting some quite good results, even at uh, the lower end of the scale. And then what we'll do is uh, we'll come back in a minute, and you can see exactly what sort of scores we'll be getting. Okay, so the test is just about to finish. It's just doing the 8192 now. Um, if we zoom in, you'll be able to see it a little bit better. So zooming in and moving the camera down ever so slightly. You can see that on the 1024, which is this one here, if we go across, you can see on the right speed, 645277. So that's exceeding, that's like blistering fast. And on the read speed, 736 Three, five, six. And bearing in mind, we're actually running this test on the drive that's actually in use uh, running the application. So a little bit of performance is going to be hindered by that. And, and still we're getting results of 645277 and 736356. Says it all really. Um, fantastic, fantastic results. If we were to do the Q depth a little bit higher to say 10, we would be getting slightly better results, but nothing too major. So you can see Atto really has uh, shown this drive's true colours. If we zoom back out, we're going to close down Atto now. We don't want to save it. And we're going to run Crystal Disk Mark. Let's get on the C drive. It's 240 gigs. So it registered as 223. And this time we're going to run all of the tests. Crystal Disk Mark is quite a good benchmark because it does give sort of results all over the board. Um, very similar to ASSSD with regards to sequential speeds sort of on the read and write scale so uh, we'll come back in a minute when that's done and you can see uh, exactly how the results fare on there but straight away you can see 628.5 meg per second on the uh, on the read speed so uh, check back in a minute and um, yeah we'll, we'll get all the speeds up and you can see how it fares in crystal disk mark Okay, so we're just about finished now uh, with Crystal Disk Mark, and you can see the results on the screen. So 628.5 meg per second on the average read speed, um, and 345.1 on the uh, megabytes per second on the write speed. That's sequentially. Uh, there are various different tests and leaf: uh, 512K, 4K, 4K QD32. And you can see that the results are really blistering fast. Um, Crystal Disk Mark. Just like ASSSD and Atto have really made this drive shine. And uh, along with sort of the Windows performance that we saw booting in, um, we'll sort of warn you that we have tested this with various different applications installed. So 
Um, I mean, we could have installed Windows straight on and just run the test of how quickly it boots into Windows like that, and it would have been even quicker. But no one's ever going to see that performance because when you install Windows onto your onto your storage device, you're never going to just install Windows and that's it. You're going to be installing Office, um, Adobe software, um, you know, some kind of instant messaging system and things like that. And all them things um, were installed so we could show more of uh, a real life scenario compared to this is what it's like with a fresh install of Windows because no matter what drive you're using, Windows is always quick on a fresh install. It's when you start installing other software that it does start slowing down. And we wanted to show you that even with lots of software installed, uh, I mean, we've got the likes of Adobe um, Suite, uh, Microsoft Office Suite, Digsby, Skype, um, and various other things, uh, Logitech driver software for a keyboard, mouse, um, Hitachi software for storage devices, and things like that. We wanted to show, once that was all installed, still how quickly everything performed. So I know a lot of the people, uh, if you know, they if we didn't say this, would be commenting on this video by saying it doesn't look that fast at booting Windows, but it truly is because it's Windows with everything else installed on there as well. It's not just a fresh install. So hopefully that gives you an idea into the Revo Drive or Revo Drive from OCZ or OCZ, um, and you can sort of see how great the performance truly is. Yes there is a price that you have to pay for it but if you've got the money definitely definitely worth buying if you head over to etechnics.com if you're not watching this video there you may be watching this on YouTube head over to etechnics.com the link is in the description beneath and you can see all these benchmarks again uh, but this time on a fresh install um, with the Revo drive actually as a secondary device so you, we're not hindering any performance and you can get a full in-depth look uh, with pictures of the Revo drive itself.